Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Cinepede Geek. Today we're going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon an FX television series by the name of Fargo. I'm going to talk about Fargo episode 6 titled Meridian's Ass. This episode is pretty much about we have our character of Martin Freeman and in this episode he is trying to pretty much cover up his tracks. He's doing all sorts of different things to make sure that he, you know, the one who killed his wife, to make sure he doesn't get caught up in the murder of Sam Hess and that sort of thing. So, spoilers coming up, he ends up, you know, framing his brother, putting the hammer in the gun, you know, in the gun, escaping from the hospital, doing all sorts of different things. Then we have our character of Billy Bob Thornton, or Lord Malvlo, however you say his name. Malvlo's character I believe that's how you say it. Malvo's character is do, off doing sorts of different sorts of things. He's he's shooting people. He's walking out in the snow. He's doing all sorts of stuff. He's he's taking one character, strapped duct taping him to something with a shotgun, having you know making the cops think there's somebody in the trailer house when there's not. So there's all sorts of different things going on. That's the main just for for the FX television series by the name of Fargo for episode six titled Birdian's Ass. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. You know, so far in the FX television series, the name of Fargo, so far before this point, it's been a really slow building series. A lot of slow stuff happening. You know, there's, it's been a solid series in my opinion. You know, it's a pretty solid show. I'm not in the craze that everyone else is. I think this episode may have put me in that craze, but this episode, this series in general, has been getting a lot of crazy reviews, both critical and audiences. I've been doing a look at a lot of stuff, and I think that it's been a solid show to this point, but I don't think that it's as good as everyone has been saying. I do think it's a pretty solid series. I think the sixth episode has put it up to that point, so I think from this point on, it's going to get to that point, though. Overall, uh, this was a pretty pivotal episode, though. Some huge stuff happens. Definitely the biggest one so far. Like I said earlier, it's been pretty slow up to this point. You know, there's some very slow things happening, small things happen here and there, a lot of building, character development, that sort of thing. This episode, some huge things happen because we have several characters that die off, you know, and, you know, and characters that I didn't expect. Molly's character dies off. It's a shame because she was one of our big characters. I, I mean, I didn't mind the death, but, you know, it would have been interesting seeing her take down Billy Bob Thornton's character. But I can see now that's not the direction the series is going. We have Molly's character that dies, you know, we have... Uh, we have, you know, the one of the, the blind, the, 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 not the blind guy, the deaf guy, excuse me. The deaf guy does not, I forget his name. Uh, but the deaf guy does not die, his friend dies, and then we also have uh, the other guy that dies. So we have like three or so different characters that died. The biggest one would definitely have to be Molly's character. Uh, but overall, a very intense episode, lots of big things, M mainly those three bigs. Boy, Molly's death scene is probably the biggest thing. My favorite thing about this episode is probably the last, you know, ten minutes or so, whenever, you know, what's-his-name gets, you know, the character it's shot several times and you have the music playing the SWAT team comes in that was that scene was shot greatly this whole episode this whole series in general is really shot in a great way but especially this episode those last 10 minutes 10 15 minutes uh, maybe 20 minutes and all was just shot greatly the scene where they're walking out in the snow this looks lovely i mean it's just they're just walking out there it's an intense scene the music that plays just you know this kind of slow music and then as they're walking out in the snow that's another great scene just some really cool stuff uh you know seeing you know the machine guns blowing through the car this is a really intense episode that I feel as the series is going, it's starting to slowly build up to the season finale, and I think once I see the full season, then I'll catch the hype that everyone else is feeling, but for right now, I think it's a very solid show, if I had to give it a 1 out of 10 rating, I'd probably give it a 9, it's just shy of being amazing, just shy of that, but overall, I've really enjoyed the series, it's really cool stuff, it's pretty slow, but I don't mind that slow, the slowness allows for characters to be built in a great way, and this episode does that. I think Martin Freeman is still my favorite character because I feel his character is really built in the, in the perfect way. I think uh, Billy Bob Thornton's character might be a little more mysterious and maybe more intriguing at times because you're trying to find out more about him because you're not really told much as a viewer, but Martin Freeman's character is definitely a lot more developed in my opinion. Overall, a great episode, and we only have four left, so I'm really curious to see where the series is going to go in general. That's my review of the FX television series by the name of Fargo for episode 6 titled Brilliant's Ass. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos.